Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, thank you so very much for joining me. This is Smash That Small Paper Pad. It's a collaboration put on by Deb Hauk of Deb Hauk's Crafty Cottage. Thank you so much to Deb and all the other collaborators for including me. The idea is you find a small paper pad in your stash and you smash it. I used Warm Heart. It got more votes last month, so this is the one I picked. And I had sort of been hoarding it a little, but it was time for it to come out. And I used all of it except for these two that have a bunch of words about cold. What I was trying to do was be sure that the cards would get used and not sit around till next winter. So what I'll probably do is take this piece and a half and put it in my winter paper stash. And then I'll show you what I made. I made a variety of sentiments and I made these on my girls beach weekend. So I had to use what I had with me. At first, I didn't bring any washi. My friend brought me some later, but I didn't have any with me. So if you look closely and you're a crafter, you know that this is my die cutting tape, but it was purple and it worked. So I used it, I have some string and joy and some tags and just a fun little card that would work for anything. I could say hello with it. Then I made a couple birthday cards and I had a bunch of die cuts already so I was trying to use those up. And I like this one because it's gender neutral. I could use it for anybody. Here you can see I covered that seam with that purple tape because that's what I had. And I have some stitching in these cards and some enamel dots. Just trying to add interest so they're not all the same. And it get well soon. I had my little book, little book that I keep my die cuts in. And I just went through and picked some sentiments. And then some of them, I did have a few dies with me. So you can see that I cut this hugs out of the polka dot paper. And I used one of my paint smushes behind that. I have a video on that if you're wondering what the heck. And some snowflakes. So I do have a winter card here. But I thought I'd use a couple of them. It's still January, so we're good. Happy birthday, and it has some stitching and some shimmer paper. Really fun scraps on these cards. Hugs with some die cut hearts. Those of you who watch my channel are probably surprised I used hearts, but I didn't have very many stars with me. <laughs> and I had my heart dies with me and hugs. Here I had a bit of crepe paper that was left over. I had just grabbed some miscellaneous items off the counter when I was packing up and a scrap. And I really liked that. I was gonna make a longer ruffle, but I underestimated how much it would take. And then I used a hello stamp that was new to me. This one was really my favorite. I don't know why I didn't make more like this. It might've been because these were in my container that I brought with me. And like I said, I didn't have a bunch of star dies with me. For some reason, I had missed my very small dies when I packed up, but I really liked how this turned out. It was a scrap of paper and I zigzagged down the middle and hit those stars. Then I glued a couple on. Oh, then I stitched along the sides and then I glued a couple more small ones on just to fill it in. And I have a small one. Oops, looks like I had some travel problem. I'll fix that up. So really a nice fun border. Then I had my thinking of you die with me and a little bit of bling and that purple tape. But see, I have purple polka dots. So that's a nice one. Happy birthday. And then I had some of my stars. I think those are from Kelly. They were in that container. And this one's really cute too. It's very simple, but really fun. Hugs, and I've layered up my hugs with a double die cut there. And a sympathy card, heartfelt sympathy. And I had this bit of ribbon with me and then just a heart, very simple but I just feel like sympathy cards shouldn't have a lot of bling or sparkle. Thanks, a scrap that I stitched on and a thanks die, and then this really cute little tiny pattern. This is a scrap card and get well soon. I really like how this one turned out. I like those scraps back there. I think it turned out really nicely. And then thanks, this card, I left it really plain, but wow, these papers are a lot, aren't they? 
pretty busy. <laughs> that is smash that small paper pad. Then I think for next month, I'm either going to use this one, which I have the 24 sheets of paper. I don't think I've used any out of here. I don't recall if I gave Andrea any, I might've. And then long ago, I opened up this ephemera pack and added stickles to it. I lay them out, I hit it with stickles and wink of Stella, let them dry, and then I put it back in. So the ephemera pack will be really cute. Or we could use this one. This is the Bee's Knees by Honey Bee Stamps. Honey Bee is made in the US and it's actually an Oregon company. So we're either gonna go with this one, Le Petit Jardin, uh, how about this, garden? We're either going garden or bees. So you tell me which one you want to see. And that's the one that I'll use for smash that small paper pad for next month. I don't have any ephemera or anything for this one, but I have flowers and bees. We can figure something out. So let me know, garden or bees? I think we're headed for spring and I'm ready. Leave me a comment to let me know. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out the other collaborators in Smash That Small Paper Pad. Bye-bye.